Can you imagine that this simple painting showing a very basic scene of a woman staring at the vastness of the ocean while a man is standing behind her half turned to her hides a sad and complicated love story A woman stands near the seashore looking at the blue ocean perhaps lost in some thoughts a man is walking behind her he wants to say something or perhaps confess something but something about his body language tells that he does not want to disturb the woman how come this painting tells a love story if you look at the other paintings made by munk you'll realize that he is not the romantic kind of guy he's kind of eternal pain and torture kind of guy almost all of his painting deal with grim ideas and expressions death pain misery angst all fill up the canvas space so how come in this fire we find a flower how come out of all the paintings that express his emotional turmoil there is one that shows a hint of love in this episode of worth a look let me tell you about the unfortunate love story of edward munk and how his first love was filled with regret pain and sadness and how this woman the woman you see here influenced his entire life in paintings The complete name of the painting is Two People the Lonely Ones. This is an oxymoron. How can two people be lonely? The fact that there are two people cancels the lonely part, and that is what Munk wanted to tell us. He wanted to show that both of them are lonely together. While Munk was strictly an expressionist with all his paintings expressing some emotion, this painting is a bit different because it tells a narrative. It tells a very personal story about the artist's life. Let's start with the introduction first. The man who is standing behind the woman is Munk himself. You might think that this painting does not look much like a painting, and you'd be right. It is actually a woodcut painting. So it's more of a print than a painting. And who's this mysterious woman? That's Milly Tholo, the wife of Karl Tholo, a physician and the brother of Munk's third cousin. When Munk met Milly in 1885, she was 3 years older than Munk. She was 25 while he was only 22. And in a fate of events and perhaps the naivety of the young boy, He fell in love with Milly Tholo. We don't know whether Milly loved Munk or not, but we do know that she was attracted to Munk. They had a long-going affair while she was still married to Karl. Milly and Edward chose the forest for the love-making sessions, and these paintings show what happened after that. You must be thinking, what kind of love-making was this? These paintings are horrific and disturbing. Well, that's not a shocker when Edward Munk is involved. The man was not a stranger to tragedy and unfortunately his first love was more of a tragedy. Munk was anxious and depressed and traumatized. He lost his mother, his older sister and a lot of other close friends and family. His father hardly cared for him and he grew up in an orthodox Christian family. But there was something about Tholo that filled him with life. He never fell for anyone the way he did for her. This painting shows us the moment right after he made love with Tholo. You can see Monk getting washed by a wave of regret and fear. It shows the moment when Monk felt the fear creeping back and him realizing what he had done. Grief, guilt and regret all at once. He might even have felt some form and degree of disgust towards Thalo as well. He must have thought about what he was doing or perhaps the fact that even though he loves her, Thalo does not. While he did not believe much in religion, it is very difficult for an anxious person to shake off the fear and guilt of committing a sin. and hence you see him sitting with regret while tholo gets stressed this painting was made the same year their affair started so it did not take him long to understand what was going on it was more than just a sin monk had trouble with keeping a relationship seeing so many of his family members die he was naturally fearful of getting too close to someone and there he was falling for a woman so hard that he surpassed all of his fears but could not overcome them So what happened to their love story? Well, there was no happy forever after. Tholo was never in love with Monk. She broke this relationship 2 years later, which completely devastated Monk. The end of the relationship was just the beginning of this devastation. What hurt him more was that after a few years, Milly broke up with Karl to marry an actor named Ludwig Berg and did not even consider Monk. A few years later, she remarried again and completely forgot about Monk. Monk on the other hand, could not forget about her. Life had presented him another tragedy that he could use to paint these paintings. There are many paintings that show Milly, including this one. But this one is slightly different. While it is easy to vilify Tholo, we do not know what she was going through. Here in this painting, we see two lonely souls, so alone and so together. Even though Monk had relationships with other women, none would be as influential 
as the one with Thalo. She was the charismatic catastrophe of his life. The relationship lasted for only two years, but these two years would shape the later years of Monk's life. The placement of the people might seem random. The woman is staring at the vastness of the ocean, but there's a reason why Monk has painted the scene near an ocean. Oceans have always represented melancholy in his paintings. Take the painting Melancholy or Separation. Inger on the Beach Starry Night Moonlight Every painting that shows the ocean conveys sadness, pain, loss and grief. And that's why the viewers find the ocean in the background of this painful moment. The Lonely Ones is not a painting, strictly speaking. It is actually a woodcut painting, as mentioned before. This is the reason why there are so many versions of this painting. To make the print multicolored, Monk made the woodcut in three parts. The shore and the man are a single unit. The ocean is the second part and the woman is the third part, separated from the shore and the sea. Every part fits like a jigsaw puzzle. And that was the story behind this painting. It is fascinating how a picture can actually say so much. And if you like this video, consider subscribing and sharing it. After all, we all need a little art in our heart.